Let's get more now from Hualien, which bore the brunt of the earthquake. Sally Jensen is at the site of one of the worst hit buildings. Sally, what's the recovery progress been like? Behind me is one of the last remaining casualties of the magnitude 7.2 earthquake that struck some 15 kilometers from here uh, less than a week ago. The Uranus building is being demolished floor by floor uh, as the quake was so strong it tilted it at an angle. Uh, residents have been relocated but from here you can still see the furniture and interiors of many people's homes. Now this building uh, is now a visual symbol of the earthquake's power. Earlier, we went to a disaster relief center in Hualien County where they're giving out uh, donations and supplies to the hundreds of people whose lives have been left in tatters. Ms. Chiu has lived in Hualien her whole life, but she lost almost everything in the huge earthquake that rocked Taiwan last week. Like hundreds of others, she is now putting her life back together and collecting emergency funds from a charity. On Taiwan's east coast, Hualien was just 20 kilometers from the quake's epicenter. The magnitude 7.2 quake that struck five days ago killed at least 13 people, injured more than a thousand, and in this port city of a hundred thousand left many unhoused. In the days since, humanitarian organizations have worked with the government to set up tents, provide food, medical care and transportation for victims. They're also distributing aid to those displaced and now staying with family or in government provided accommodation. Just for this one day only, here at this primary school in Hualien, volunteers from Tsuji, Taiwan's largest Buddhist foundation, are giving out cash and other donations to people affected by the earthquake, giving out more than 350,000 US dollars in aid. Founded in Hualien by a Buddhist nun in the 1960s, Tsuji has a long history of disaster response, and it now has 10 million volunteers working in over 60 countries. These people they are hurt, they're sad, and they're afraid. What can we provide for them? More than just food, more than just money. I think we need to give them comfort. We need to give them a sense of support. And the local government is grateful for the assistance. But beyond this initial response and the much needed handouts, officials here say more needs to be done to help with long-term recovery. Elsewhere in the country, recovery from the earthquake has been fairly fast. But here in Hualien, where most of the damage was done, it could be some time before families can fully rebuild their lives. Andy Xue, Scott Huang and Sally Jensen in Hualien County for Taiwan Plus. Immediate disaster relief is wrapping up in Hualien as people try to return to a semblance of normality. But the earthquake has left its mark. To Rocco Gorge, a popular tourist site not far from here, is closed indefinitely because of major damage that saw hundreds of people stranded there for several days. Uh, and uh, those people have since uh, been rescued. And while the emergency humanitarian response uh, draws to a close here, one thing's for certain, Hualien will bear the scars of the April 3rd earthquake for years to come.